Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another one of my Grand Theft How-Tos. I'm going to be taking a look at how to save your vehicles this time. So for those of you that spend money and time modding your cars, you're obviously going to want to hang on to them, so this is one for you. So let's jump straight to it. Okay, so I mainly do this video because it's a little bit confusing on the map because obviously the typical place for you to store vehicles is at your own house. So if you go to a house, you have a garage, you can park your car in that garage and then that's one place to store your vehicle. However, there are also other garages located around, um, basically around the town or around the city or at various different locations. And obviously, you know, Trevor's got one, Franklin's got one, Michael's got one. Um, and some of you may well be wondering what the difference is between them. The short answer is there's not a lot, but the long answer is Basically, the garage that is not at your house is effectively a much bigger garage. If you typically go to, you know, for example, when you start out as Franklin, you can only really get one car in that garage, maybe two at a squeeze. Um, when you go to a second house, then obviously, again, there are, it's a slightly bigger garage, so you can store more vehicles there. But at the end of the day, it's quite a small place because it is on your house. So effectively, you know, it's, it's designed to kind of hold a couple of cars. Whereas if you go to one of the garages that's located around the city, um, basically the difference with this one is if you look on your map, your house is marked as a white house icon, whereas the garage is marked as a kind of green or blue or orange, depending on who you are. Um, but yeah, a green house icon, so or garage icon, should I say. Now, if you go to the garage in the town, the kind of the green one or the colored one, um, and then you basically drive up to the door and instead of the conventional way where you drive up and the garage door opens, this time you drive up to it and press right on the D-pad and you will be transported inside and you'll notice that your car is kind of parked in the garage. Now you'll notice when you go inside this one, there is a lot more room in here, which means you can hold a lot more cars. So if you're a collector out there or you're trying to collect all the supercars, for example, if you see in front, I've got my R8 or, well, it's got a GTA name, but I don't know it, and the Inferno or Infernus, whatever it's called. But yeah, these are the cars that I've modded and I want to hang on to, so I'm going to keep them in there. Um, and then obviously as the game expands and you get more garages then you can kind of store them in more locations now the other important thing about this garage um, is that you can also load special vehicles from here so for example if you're on the social club and you have the nissan gtr car or the um, elegy i think that's the name of it you can basically press right on the d-pad while inside the garage and it will allow you to load the special cars so this garage does have two functionalities but at the end of the day the long and short of it is the garage at your house will do the same thing as this garage but it's just that this one allows you to store more cars. So for the collectors out here, that's what you're gonna to wanna to use. But otherwise, pick and choose which one is most convenient for you. As always, don't forget to like and share this video if you found it helpful, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to stay tuned to the Arrows Gaming website, Twitter, and Facebook page for all your gaming news throughout the week. And thanks for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.